Here's a frame taken from the music video, Is This Love by Whitesnake. As you can see, Vivian Campbell is playing a RAN guitar. This isn't a production model, this is more of a prototype version, which I'm going to show you right here. Here's a better pick of the guitar that Vivian Campbell actually plays in that music video. It's a little different than the production ones. Uh, this one, I believe it is also neck, neck through and not set neck, a deep set neck like the production versions. One humbucker, one volume, and I believe the Floyd Rose is not recessed. This is the guitar used in the music video Still of the Night with Vivian Campbell. Again, this is not a production version. It's more of a pre-production version, prototype kind of version. As, uh, the bodies are a little wider at a certain parts. The paint jobs it seems a little different than the other ones I always thought. Uh, but yeah, the, the main thing is the body. The body is, is a little different. And the headstock is a tad different as well. The logo is different. And also with the pre-production rants, I believe the tuners don't have, aren't slanted like 45 degrees like the, like the production ones as well. And it looks like this one is not, does not have a recess Floyd. This is the same guitar Vivian was holding at the beginning of this video. This one was painted multiple times, I think, in order to get this look. As you, and as you can see, it has uh, two humbuckers, and the neck pickup is not a single coil. But yeah, this is the one he used in his Young Guitar magazine shoots. And I believe this guitar is in a Hard Rock Cafe in Costa Rica, I believe. Here's a picture of Doyle from the Misfits. He's actually holding a Rand guitar right here. You can see in the top right, it's kind of an advertisement for a Rand as well. Like Again, these guys worked together at one point building guitars. Uh, Doyle played, it's called the Annihilator Rand. So it had the, it had the 27 frets. It had a lot of the features of the regular production, 27 fret rands, but the body shape was a little different, and I'll give you a picture of that later on. But yeah, um, you can't see it right here, but I believe this is an, an Annihilator style rand. Here's a picture of Doyle from the Misfits with Ed Roman. For those of you who are kind of young, Ed Roman was a guy who had a, he has a guitar shop in Las Vegas, or he did, he's, he's now deceased, but... In the mid-90s and the 2000s, he had actually a really cool website where he talked a lot about 80s guitars. He had a lot of opinions about many things. Um, he was quite the in interesting guy, but uh, he, he gave a lot of exposure to a lot of the 80s guitars. He was a big fan of them. and He actually praised Rand guitars a lot, saying how they were way ahead of its time. And he actually made his own style of copy with, with the Rand guitar. I think he called it the Caligua, but... Uh, yeah, to be honest, that's the first time I've ever heard about Rand guitars was from Ed Roman's website in the mid to late 90s, I think. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. But uh, here's a picture of him and Doyle with the Annihilator guitars. And uh, a lot of the Rand Annihilators didn't look like this. I'll show you a picture of that pretty soon here. The guitar in the middle and the guitar on, on the right are considered Annihilator Rands. I also heard them be called witch rands. There's some story behind that, but I don't know what it is. But as you can see, they're they're pretty similar. You know, they got the Palfrey fretboard. They have the maple back neck and probably mahogany bodies. They're all pretty similar, except the body shape, as you can see, is a little different. Here's an up-close picture of a production rand. As you can see, you can get a feel of what the paint jobs were like. The Palfrey fretboard which is also called Bolivian Rosewood. It has a 27 frets. As you can see, the inlays are kind of somewhat like a pyramid, pyramid shape, but not like the Ibanez gems. So yeah, this is the front of it. Uh, it looks like the pickups were changed to EMGs. Here's the back of the Rand. You can kind of get an idea what the sculpted cutaway looks like. And here's a picture of the production Rand headstock. As you can see, the tuners are slightly angled a little bit than the typical 90 degrees. It's a Rand logo, and it's, I believe it says 1988 Rand Guitar Company. However, I have seen Rand logos that did not say that. Here's a Rand that has been unfinished, or maybe the paint was sanded off. 
But either way, you can kind of see how the sculpted how the sculpted cutaways look, and as well, the mainly you can see the deep set neck tenon or the set through tenon goes all the way into the bridge pickup, which this was pretty new at the time. You might be thinking to yourself, well, what the hell happened? Why did they stop making the guitars and whatever happened to them? According to an interview done with Rand some time ago, he expressed that he was putting in a crazy amount of hours and he would he'd be spent weeks without even going home because he was so busy putting all these guitars and trying to sell them and try to keep up with demand. I guess the, he, the demand was too much and he couldn't handle it and he's starting to get burnt out. And it was in production for about a year and a half and then it's closed its doors. These gu guitars were somewhat forgotten about until probably the mid 90s when the exposure of the internet kind of brought them into light again. But yeah, Rand just kind of did his own thing, do some CNC work and whatever else he was doing, but no one really knows. But in 2008, he decided to open the company back up again and produce these guitars in plain black, as you see right here. And he also was going to have a bass guitar. He had a website ready to roll, and you could talk to him a little bit. But nothing ever came to it. I'm not sure if it's because that was kind of the recession going on in 2008, 2009. But he was about to do it, but nothing ever happened from it. Today, these guitars are pretty rare. We only know about 32 to 35 that we actually have photos of that exist. However, supposedly there were around 75 to possibly 80 made. We're not sure. Uh, Rand said he never took a picture of every single one he made. But I'll be doing more videos on Rand guitars in the future. I'm going to do, make another video showing every picture of every guitar, Rand guitar currently known that we have a photo of. I'm also going to be making a video series of a Rand restoration which it's going to make you cringe in the beginning, but hopefully as I start restoring it, you guys will be happy. So yeah, please subscribe, and I got more random guitar histor historical facts in the future, not just Rand guitars, but many, many other types of guitars.